EV Dance Portable Electric Vehicle Charger. Let's get into it. Okay, so as I mentioned, this can be used either as a portable electric vehicle charger that you keep in your car if your electric vehicle wasn't purchased new or if the uh, manufacturer doesn't supply you with a portable electric vehicle charger. Or you can affix it to the wall of your garage <clears throat> or outside. It is rated for exterior use as well. In my particular case, we had this NEMA 1450 outlet installed about two years ago. Uh, when we got our second electric vehicle and we turned into an all-electric household. Having just one seemed insufficient at the time. It actually turns out that one electric vehicle charger is sufficient, but having two is definitely kind of a nice to have. So as long as we have the outlet, we might as well permanently mount the EV Dance charger here to have readily available uh, in the need of both vehicles needing to be charged, because that does happen. Also, what's happened with some frequency is we have a visitor show up who has an electric vehicle, in which case we could use the EV Dance extension cable in order to go into the driveway and still have a charger available to charge our own cars. So, uh, speaking about the outlet, there was recently a state of charge video, which I'll link down below in the description, which talks about outlet safety and trying to have these installed yourself versus having a professional do it. It is kind of expensive. I think we spent, because we're close to the breaker, I think it was a little bit over $1,000 in order to have just the outlet installed. And you might think you could save some money by doing it yourself. Uh, Tom Malagny recommends against that unless you're a professional electrician who's familiar with the code for electric vehicle charging continuous feeds. This was installed by Renew Energy Solutions. They did have permit and inspections uh, done as well, and it is an industrial grade outlet. So I'm very confident in the safety of the outlet and uh, the wiring going into the breaker panel. It is on a completely separate circuit from the Tesla circuit. Uh, the Tesla is um, running 48 amps. This will just be 40 amps. However, the EV Dance charger is only 32 amps. I was back and forth with them uh, right now. Uh, they requested that I review the 32 amp. Maybe at some point in the future, I will review the 40 amp version. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and proceed with installing this physically on the wall. During the summer months of my college years, I worked as a handyman just doing odd jobs around the community. And one thing I found in doing so is that the drywall anchors really are effective. So what I like to use instead is something a little bit more beefy like this, which is a plastic wall anchor that actually screws into the drywall. In this case, we have studs because the uh, garage is not finished. We can see actually where the studs are. So I'm going to go into studs, but also when I really need to solve a problem, I use what's known as a toggle bolt. The way this works is it goes into the wall and once it goes behind the wall, it opens up and then you tighten up the screw and it becomes very solid and the chance of it getting pulled out is next to zero. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now that the base is mounted to the wall with the toggle bolts, I'm going to put the holster a good distance away. The reason being is my, when my wife pulls in her car, the driver's side door needs to open and she needs clearance for it. And this does stick out a little bit. 
So I don't want it to interfere with the doors. So I'm thinking this is a good distance. There's plenty of length in the cable for us to be able to drape it around whichever direction we need to. And uh, so no problem having it a good distance away from the base. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, because I'm going into the stud, I think the anchoring won't need a toggle bolt, but um, I am going to upgrade the screw to something a little bit longer because this will have a good deal of daily wear and tear on the um, strain that's put against the screw. So I'm going to upgrade to a little bit longer screw. Okay, now that I'm actually seeing it installed, I still think this is protruding probably a little too far out for my use case here in this section. So I think what I'm going to do is just use the cover cap, and just keep it coiled around like that. That, to me, I think makes sense. Okay, let's just do a quick overview of this install. You can see here there's two positions for the car charger, which is the NEMA 1450 outlet and then two positions for the Tesla charger, which correspond to this breaker and this breaker. I did flip them on, and now the garage wall has a section for the Tesla charger, and then the NEMA 1450 with the EV dance plugged into it at 32 amps, coiled up over here. All right, let's go ahead and get into some of the features of this uh, charger. Okay, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. This is what it comes in. And there's no tape to open, which is always nice. Instructions on the outside to some extent for people who like to do quick start. It is 32 amps, as can be seen. Inside, I'm guessing there's going to be a black, yeah, black suitcase. The EV Dance um, uniform marketing continues. I really like the way they provide a carrying case. This is a travel charger. In my particular use case, I'm going to be using it mounted on my wall. So for me, it'll be a little bit different. I won't be using the case. Let's go ahead and get everything out of here and see what we get. Put the case off to the side. Okay, so we have the charger itself that looks to come with the cradle and the NEMA 1450 plug, which is fixed. We have an instruction booklet, and this will be the holster and cable uh, support coil. We also have some drywall screws and anchors. I'm not a big fan of these. I kind of like toggle bolts, but we'll get to that later. If you dance is running a special, I'll put the discount code down below in the description that will offer 20% off between now and Christmas. And this is their website, and as I've mentioned in other EV Dance videos, the reason why I said yes when they were looking for someone to do product reviews is I really like the extent of products that they have. They don't just sell adapters. They sell basically every combination of adapter you could possibly need. They don't just sell chargers. They also sell every combination of chargers you could possibly want. So, and the extension cords. Um, so let me get to the charger section. The particular one that we are reviewing today is the EV Dance 32 amp NEMA 1450. There's the 40 amp, not with the Tesla connector, with the J1772, where is it? I'm sure, right here. Okay, so this is the one we're reviewing today, but as you can see, they also have ones for Europe, 
They have ones with Tesla connectors. They have them that go between 32 amps and 40 amps. They even have a 16 amp for a wall connector. If that's all you want to do is level one charging, they can sell you that as well. And so I really like that about this company. They don't just sell a product. They sell a, a, a product in multiple different form factors because everyone's use case is different. You might not have a garage, so you have to plug in with a outlet, just a normal outlet somewhere on an outside uh, receptacle. You might have a garage with an EMA 1450. You might want to go J3400 for future proofing. Uh, you might want to do a J1772 in order to just accommodate the car that you have. You might be toting the thing um, as a portable charger into like an Airbnb. You might be trying to permanently mount it like what I did. And actually the permanently mount is only a temporary permanently mount because as you saw, the unit can actually slide out. So should I go to a Airbnb, I can plug it into a, a NEMA 1450 there, assuming they have one, and then just use the extension cable in order to run it over to uh, wherever my car is parked in the driveway. So very flexible. And that's one of the things I really like about EV Dance. Let's go ahead and take a look at the product website. That would be this one right here. And I'll put a link to this down below in the description, again, mentioning the uh, discount code. And just so people know, I don't get any money from discount code. It's just being passed along as a, a courtesy from EV Dance in order to um, stimulate a little bit more sales before Christmas, I believe is their intention. And um, the specifics of the device, actually, I, it's in the pictures. I don't think it's down here. Indoor, outdoor, use, convenience, anywhere. FAQs, I'll get to that in just a second. This is what I wanted to show. The indicators of the LCD. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it's not just a dumb charger. It also has the ability to interface with um, a person. Like our Tesla charger, you just plug it in and there's a green light indicating that you're charging. This gives you a lot more information, the duration of the charge, the amount that is being outputted, the amount of amps, which is programmable and uh, voltage and current. Here's the information concerning the safety. It is waterproofed. Um, FCC certification is a very common thing for electronics. Overcharge protection, which means it'll trip if it uh, gets too much current and uh, protected with grounding. Let's see what else we have here. That's that. That's not that picture. This is the picture that I wanted. Yeah, this is how you select either a schedule or changing between the different amps levels that are available. So convenient, flexible, and adaptable to many different use cases, which is, as I said, what I really like about EV Dance products. Here's the manual, both front and back in one image. A couple of things to call out. It has a 25 foot cable. It is IP66 rated. The operating temperature is negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit to positive 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So a very high ambient temperature operating range. It has different LED states for the different star, uh, charging states, uh, which is very common to other mobile chargers that I've used. Uh, red indicating a ground fault, uh, blue indicating EVs connected and green indicating charging. So enough talking, let's go ahead and charge. Okay, I pulled my Volvo into the garage, which will probably be the primary vehicle that is used with this charger. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works. Nice 25 foot long cable. Little bit springy, but I'm sure that's just because it's new. All right. Connected. Let's go ahead and go inside the car and see how it's doing. Okay, we are starting to ramp up. Looks like we're passing 10 amps. The car can receive 48. Let's see how high we get. It should be somewhere just below 32. If I had to guess, it'd be 30 to 31. There's 30. And is it going to give me 31? It'll give me 31. I don't think it'll give me 32. Uh, that's just not how the Volvo typically works. It normally shaves an amp or two off. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the charger. Okay, as we could see, the charger is displaying how many amps are currently being outputted as well as the LED indication indicating in the process of charging. So all seems to be working well. Back on the EV Dance website, as I mentioned, the discount code linked down below in the description only does work on the EV Dance's website. If you try to buy it off Amazon, the discount code will not work. Anyway, rather uneventful installation, which I always like, and now I permanently have a charger uh, in addition to the one that we have because we've got two EVs and not uncommonly we have guests stopping by as well. So definitely a nice addition to uh, the electronics in the garage for the electric vehicle household. So there you have it, the EV Dance portable electric vehicle charger, specifically in this case, it is the 32 amp NEMA 1450 version of the product. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.